All right, guys. So here we have the new Asus X299 Tough, the saber tooth lineup from them, and it's a monster as well. You've got all the stuff that Tough is known for: the thermal armor, the big chunky heat sinks, um, the dust protection covers here as well, which you can see. So it's got it's it's got all the stuff that that Tough is known for, but it's got a lot more going on this time as well. Um, it's got a dedicated M.2 cooling solution in there, which is actually cooled by the fan right here. It's got active cooling, which is something I haven't seen on any other board, uh, any other board up till now. So active cooling using a fan on the M.2, that's actually very nice to see. It's got uh, it's got illumination. It's got illumination here. It's got, of course, it's got um, your your Aura controller he header down here. It's got another. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have another aura controller up here, but it definitely has one header down there. Um, it's got USB 3.1 header. No, apart from one USB 3 header, no, no other. So that's that's that that's something that's different from the X299 Deluxe. Um, it's got quad channel support as well. No DIM.2, but um, you can definitely hold one 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 M.2 drive down there. Um, all in all, a very solid, chunky board. It's got your, you've got your debug LEDs up there. Uh, you don't have a debug, you don't have a debug LED screen anywhere, but um, that should be that should be plenty. It'll, it'll it'll tell you where your system's stuck if it's not posting. And um, yeah, it's just a very very chunky, chunky solid board. Um, the I/O panel, of course, uh, is is also very well specked out, as you can see. So you've got. Two USB 3s, well, four USB 3s, one USB 3.1 Type A, one Type C, and um, four USB 2s. It's also got another another USB 2 that I guess is for uh, BIOS flashback, if I'm not mistaken, ROG BIOS flashback. And uh, yeah, guys, that's that's actually about it. Um, not much else to show about this board. Well, actually, no, I was mistaken. It does have another USB 3 header here. I'm so sorry for I'm so sorry for, for missing that. So. No, no real difference. It's got it's it's got the two headers and another thing. It's got another M.2 slot here. So this is going to be installed in a vertical orientation. The drive goes in this way. So you've got one drive here, and you can plug in an another drive here in the vertical orientation. And there are gaps here. So the airflow is going to pass over this drive and also cool this drive as well. So that's again very very interesting execution on the on the cooling aspect. And this is just something that Tuff is known for, with their heat sinks and their complete board coverage and the airflow that they build into it. So, yeah, guys, that's about it for the Asus X299 Tuff. Um, awesome, awesome board. Again, can't wait for these boards to hit the market. It's going to be spectacular, and can't wait to start testing these babies. All right, guys, that's it. That's that. That's all from the Asus booth for now. Tulius Tech signing out from Computex 2017 from the Asus booth.